We'll guide you through how to fix your Wi-Fi not working on your Samsung TV. If you find this guide useful, consider subscribing and also liking the video. And the methods in this video should be pretty broad to Samsung TVs. So even if you've got a slightly different model, you could, should still be able to follow along. Before we get into the main methods, if you've recently moved your TV to a new location or you're setting up for the first time, and you can't connect to the Wi-Fi, this could just be because it's too sort of far away from the Wi-Fi connection. However, if it has already been working with the Wi-Fi and you haven't moved it or anything like that, then it probably is an issue. And so let's get into this. But if it is just too far away, try moving it closer and seeing if it will work. So the first thing I recommend you do is just go and power off your TV and unplug it from the wall for five to 10 seconds. So do that right now. And that sort of does like a soft reset of your TV and it sort of just completely removes all the power and then you can plug it back in after 10 seconds or so. And then what you should do is try connecting to the Wi-Fi again. So go, of course, go and open up your settings by pressing on the settings button on your remote or tap on home. And then you can tap along, open up your settings and try connecting to the network. If that still didn't work, the next thing I recommend you do is reset your network settings. To do that, all you need to do is go into your settings. So once again, tap on the home button or just tap on the settings button directly. So I'll tap on the home button and then in the bottom row, I'll tap along to settings like this and tap OK on that and then go down to a general and then we can go into network. And in network, you'll then see the option for reset network. Now, if you don't have the option for this, don't worry. You can just go and skip into the next method. But if you do, click on it and then you can press reset again. And that's going to reset all your network settings and hopefully that will go and fix it. It will just take a few seconds to do that. And after it's done the reset, then you can go and open up your network settings and try joining the network again. So if that still hasn't worked, then what you can do is try doing a complete reset of your TV. So to do that, you just go back to the main settings page and then you go down to general and then you need to scroll down all the way to the bottom until you see the option for start setup. And as you can see sort of in the top right, it says restore your TV to its original settings and perform the initial setup again. So doing that is just a bit more of an extreme version of just resetting your network settings. So yeah, you can do that after doing the reset of your network settings, or maybe you didn't even have that setting anyway, so you could try doing this. And then after restoring your TV to its original settings, you can then try joining a Wi-Fi network again and seeing if it's going to let you. Now, if it still isn't working, even after doing that full reset, what you can try is connecting your TV using Ethernet. Of course, this isn't going to be using Wi-Fi, but it still means you can connect your TV to the Internet. So what you'll need to do is grab an Ethernet cable. And if you're thinking my TV isn't near my router, then what you can do is go and get something called a power line adapter. It's what I use. And it basically allows you to get Ethernet anywhere in your house as long as it's got a power socket. So what we can do is plug this in and then try using a wired connection. After connecting your TV with an Ethernet cable, so it's got a wired connection, we need to go back to the network settings. So just go and tap on the settings button or the home button and then tapping along to settings just like this. And then in your settings, go down to general and then network and then open network settings. And we can then go and configure it. So then tap on wired just like that. And it's then going to go and check the connection. And as you can see, it's working, which is great. I can now go and use the internet. Once again, this is more of an alternative than a fix, but it does just mean you can use uh, the internet on your TV. So I hope one of these methods did work for you. If they did, please leave a like.